As we inch towards the days until Christmas, thoughts of friends and family gatherings fill my mind. Though, as I go through my days, a lot of my normal routines take me through downtown Fenton. Always in passing, I look at the empty remains of a building whose owners is the family that essentially started my passion for music. The empty plot still blocked by fences that overtake the sidewalks, even many months after the fire. This morning, firefighters say a fire destroyed a music store in the town of Vinton, unfortunately displacing eight people from a four apartments and killed one cat. Please don't let anybody live there. No one was hurt. Fire officials say the cause is still being investigated. Uh, that business owner is out here now and he says that building is a total loss. Firefighters, the fire marshals are uh, checking to see if the business is behind this music building. Um, if there have been any damage inside. It was devastating to hear about, and even more to see. A place where both my brothers and I, and countless others, bought all of our instruments and books for band. A few of my own instruments that I still use today came from there. It affected a lot of people, and they felt the same. Some even had a few words to say about it. Heartbreak. <laughs> to say it's heartbreaking. This is a, sorry, Benton is a tight community. Um, we're a family. My mom reached out to me a little while ago and said that building was there when I was a little girl and she's 86. He rented instruments to the schools. So he's lost all, all of his trumpets and stuff that he rents. It's a shame because we were, the whole downtown area was starting to be revitalized and build up and and then we have something like this happen. It's a really big tragic loss to the whole area. For now, residents will continue to help each other as they have all day. In Benton, Kylie Kidd, WFXR News. Just, that, just watching that thing burn, we're gonna stay right here, Will. Just never, we have that, that's a sad time for my family. But the community banded together several places opening donations for the individuals displaced by this, and the American Red Cross helping them too. And among all the wreckage of the building, an old banjo dating back to the Civil War era, which was one of the most expensive in the owner's collection, as well as an American flag, were both unscathed by the flames and the rubble on top. I want you to check this out with me. This is what was left of a downtown music store that was destroyed in a July fire, but now they're back in business. It's a new beginning. That's our main thing is that we didn't want to give up the, the Vinton feel and the Vinton community. That's the greatest thing in the world. I mean, the community, we come back for the community itself. Because the Rays say the phones were ringing nonstop. The parents needed instruments for band camp. That's the biggest reason. We, we come back actually about the third week of August. The first image I see when someone mentions downtown Fenton is the big intersection with DR Music on the corner. Though I hardly go in there for music equipment these days, it still holds sentimental value for me. And I know the same could be said with the myriad of clientele they accommodate instruments with. So to know that they'll be continuing their business gives me a good feeling because they'll be giving the passion for music to more generations to come.